it's Naomi GP, you're watching The Undercurrent, and today we are exploring some Atlanta gems. Atlanta is one of my favorite cities in the United States. It's full of charm, art, culture, and I want to show you a few of my favorite places starting right off the Atlanta Beltline with the Brasserie at Bazzotti. This is a beautiful two-story restaurant featuring French cuisine downstairs and amazing Mexican cuisine upstairs and both have exquisite drinks. Another wonderful spot to get great cocktails and good food is the Garden Room. I'm obsessed with their velvet chairs and beautiful decorations. And we got really lucky because normally you have to make a reservation way in advance, but we were able to grab seats at the bar and get an amazing meal with really good cocktails. And it was a lovely girls' night. Before ending our evening, we made our way over to Buckhead Village for a little nighttime stroll. And of course, with the perfect lighting, we took a few photos as well. A great place to visit for brunch or early afternoon vibes is Colony Square. There's a beautiful bar in the center of the space with great food options all around, excellent architecture to look at, and for now, we're going to go ahead and order our first round of drinks. All right, so I ordered everyone a mezcal margarita with a Grand Marnier splash on top. It is my favorite drink right now, and I'm going to try it, see how the bartender did. You wish you were here. <laughs> Oh my god, it's super good. I like how smoky it is, mm -hmm. and then the, like the orange flavor that kicks at the end is so good. Our next stop is a beautiful speakeasy featuring music played directly from a record player, excellent decor, and really good craft cocktails. We are going to keep the vibes going, leave Colony Square, and head over to the Howell Mill Road area for more exploring. Barcelona, of course, you can find this restaurant outside of Atlanta, but we decided to stop by because we love the indoor-outdoor feel of the bar, and we were getting a little hungry, and we love the tapas style food option, so we're grabbing a little snack to eat and of course a little bit of something to sip this on. Is amazing, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I've spent about a year and a half learning the art of mixology from an amazing bartender named Adi Batista. And after going to a bartending competition, I discovered that one of the best bartenders in Atlanta works at Forza Storico, so we popped over to pay him Which is Forza Carbonated like I did at the show. Okay. Or Canoe Club, which is Illegal Coban Mezcal, which okay. is like smoky. It's probably one of those balanced drinks. It's come to me, which is blackberry liqueur. A little bit of color, a little bit of sweetness, fresh squeezed lime juice, and then a ginger serrano syrup that I make here. We have the famous espresso martini. Ooh. Okay. And she said she wanted an espresso. No, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> you read my mind. It's something that gets you drunk, but it tastes really good. Okay, <laughs> what's in, you can't tell us what's in it? I don't know. I can't tell you what's in it. I'm here for you. C'est bon? I love it. <laughs> Of course, we made sure to order food with our drinks, and each of these pasta dishes were absolutely incredible. 10 out of 10 recommend. Our evening ended there, but of course, the nighttime spots to discover in Atlanta are endless. So another night took us to this hidden restaurant with beautiful Middle Eastern decor. We grabbed a seat at the bar and ordered some dessert with a very easy glass of wine. 
Now, there are some incredible speakeasy cocktail bars in Atlanta. There are a few hidden here. We'll let you find them yourself. But this one in particular, we were lucky to get access to the secret password in order to get in. And here is what it looks like on the inside. Now, one of my all-time favorite spots in Atlanta is not too far from Palm City Market. They have the best tapas-style Asian fusion food, really good cocktails, beautiful ambiance, and I just am obsessed with this place. We'll leave the Pont City Market area behind us and get back on the Beltline to continue our speakeasy discoveries. This one is really fun. Located behind a daytime coffee shop, we order some drinks, a little bit of a snack, and enjoy amazing music before bopping over to our next speakeasy <laughs> cocktail bar. While we haven't really been name dropping, this cocktail bar in particular is definitely worth checking out. It's named Parlor, it's 100% black owned, and it's a really nice spot for an intimate Afrocentric vibe. And with that, here's one final cheers. I hope you take the time to explore all of these Atlanta gems. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and more content is on the way.